Ever notice the popularity of dulls these days? Um, we're starting immediately with Tradle, and I'm like, I don't know what to say. The total exports of the country is 1.68 million. That's like, it could be like one person <laughs> making, this could be an Etsy shop that makes like bespoke microphones in their garage or something like that. I don't know, <laughs> I, I could not even fathom a guess. Um, I, I genuinely have no idea. I'm going to assume perhaps it's um, I, Tuvalu, maybe. I, I can't imagine that this is right, but maybe we could guess. It's 934 kilometers southeast of Tuvalu. Is Tahiti a real country or is that something the Beach Boys made up for the song? I have no idea. There's, all, there's also Vanuatu. There's, um, isn't there an island that's called, like, oh, that's New Zealand, Wellington. There's, um, of course, there's the Solomon Islands, but that's got to have more exports. And then, I mean, I know we're getting further away, but honestly, like, in the South Pacific, like, my ass has never seen the show on Broadway. So, like, I'm, I don't know the exact geography of any of this stuff. Is it Bora Bora? Is that a real place? Um... I feel like I, I, I just don't know. Like, is Easter Island, uh, Christmas, I Christmas Island, maybe Christmas Island? Oh, we're so that's like in the, it's in the Pacific. It's eight thousand kilometers away in the Pacific. That's a big uh, ocean. I've noticed. No, that must be in the Atlantic. Maybe Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> like, look, you already look dumb. We don't need to make it look any stupider. Um, I always just go with the same stuff. I'm like, it's American Samoa. I know it's not American Samoa, but we might as well at least make a college try here. All right, it's easy. It's just, it's between Tuvalu and American Samoa on the map. That would be, um, I can't even think of another plausible guess that I know would be wrong. That's like how far off we are today. Marshall Islands. I know we already had this one, so it can't be that, but... Today, Wallace and Fatuna. Is this a real country? No disrespect to my viewers from there. My my point three one viewers from there. Hang on, Wallace and Fatuna. It's a territory, a French island collectivity in the South Pacific between Tuvalu, Tonga, Samoa, and Tokelau. Mata'utu is the capital, population 15,000. It's just two guys. Wallace makes the microphones and headphones. Wait, it would be better if it was, it's just two guys. Wallace makes the microphones. Fatuna makes the headphones. Economy. Mostly ag agriculture, 4% of the population employed by the government, some fishing. There is a single bank. I mean, that's just a tough guess. I thought it would say something about the headphones, but... I mean, the thing is, like, this is exports, right? This isn't, like, their whole economy. Like, gas turbines, 480,000. I feel like maybe they sold like one gas turbine. And then the microphones and headphones, I don't know, but I mean, $1.86 million in exports for like an entire <laughs> a territory is, is, I'm not insulting them, I'm just saying it's low. It's, it's a hard one to get. Okay, now like let's, let's make it even harder, okay? Well, this is, it, there's no way it could be as hard as Wallace and Fatuna, but <clears throat> okay, pop it out here. I feel like I should know this, but I I don't. Is this Turkey? That might not be a smart guess. Let me see. No, not even close. It's 10,000 kilometers east of Turkey. So we're going across the Mediterranean, across the whole Atlantic. Is this like Panama? 
Holy cow. It's northeast of Panama. Fifteen hundred. This so this would be like in the Caribbean, then maybe. This is it's certainly not the United States. I don't know what the hell. I don't know the the South Pacific or the South Atlantic, honestly. So, it's it's not it's. Can this work? It's roughly the same distance away from Panama and Barbados. It's in between Panama and Barbados. I need one that's just like Switzerland. Um, give me uh, give me Dominica because I know it's not the Dominican Republic. Okay, it's uh, could this be Central America instead? And maybe like this is a bit of maybe it's way more north than east. Or is this an island? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like what's the most. The northernmost country that you would consider to be Central America. Maybe like Belize? It's further away, brother. It's to the east of Belize. Oh, I've only got one more guess. <laughs> it's, it's an island. It's an island. It's an island. It floats on the water. There's land. That's why it's called an island. They were formed from volcanoes, their islands. Um, it's northwest of Barbados, northeast of Panama. I'm just, I have no idea. I'm just going to say Jamaica and, and be stupid. Oh, no, I thought we got it. Haiti! <laughs> I, I was right. It's not the Dominican Republic, but it is directly adjacent that hurts that one hurt me let me rotten tomatoes when you said dominican republic but then you clicked on dominica yeah i said i'm gonna click on dominica because i know it's not the dominican republic you can't just uh you, you got to listen to the entire sentence. You, got, you can't just listen to the first half and then start typing. Sometimes, we, we, recently I've graduated to compound sentences. I know a lot of streamers aren't there yet, which means you, there's actually like an implied comma in the middle of the sentence that allows a sentence to have either one relatively complex idea or two separate ideas as delineated by something like an oral pause. Okay, today's Rotten Tomatoes Daily. Could we do Globla, though? Mods, starting right now, asking me to do the dull that we just did, 6,000 second timeout. How long is that? 100 minutes? I'd like to, I'm, I'm co-signing that myself. I have the executive authority. Okay. You didn't do global, my dude? Okay, hang on. Shikikan, slash timeout, 600, Shikikan. Beg for your life. Wait, you didn't? Oh, right. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't hit enter, I didn't hit enter. Oh, man. Okay, sorry, non-target, non-target. I didn't hit enter. They're still here. They're still here. Okay, we got the Rotten Tomatoes one up first. <laughs> oh, man. Five-word title, 2001. Liked, relatively well-liked by the audience, not liked by the critics. Too much. It's not too bad. Um... I know it's not this, but let's just let's throw something out there. Pirates of the Caribbean 2, which is probably Dead Man's Chest. Oh, it must be it's it's too fast, too furious. The fast and the furious. It must because I see fast cars. It must be the fast and the furious. That's five words. 
Okay, that's, that's too easy. But then when it's even slightly harder, I'm like, give me an easy one. Fair enough. When the movie was not made in America, I'm like, what the hell are you trying to do here? I've never even heard of this movie. What is it, French? Parasite? Says Portuguese? Oh, one best picture. Oh, yeah, like I watch all the art house stuff in the Oscars. Okay. Global. This one goes out to Shiki Khan. It's 3,000 kilometers away from Algeria. Let's um, start me off. I'd like, to, I'd like to put myself maybe over here. Give me a Georgia. Let's see if we're on the right path here. It's way closer to Georgia. Okay, that was a very clutch guess. Let's go south of Georgia. Let's go southeast. It's like, I don't know what countries you are. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, no. Wait a minute. There's got, hang on. So we got like, you know, Iran and India. And then there's like a lot of stuff in between. Like maybe Afghanistan. Oh, Afghanistan's adjacent. Give me a Pakistan. Mm, that's cooler. Give me a... Tajikistan. Oh, it's not okay. It's 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 this country. Give me an Kurdistan. Did you mean Sudan? Okay. Well, I honestly, I know Sudan is over here, so that's not a good guess. Give me. Like Kyrgyzstan is like up here. Uzbekistan is like up. It's hang on here. Let me. I'm now in trouble. Cause I, I like this whole area from like west of India to like the start of the Arabian Peninsula. It's tough for me. You're realizing I have a lot of weak spaces in my geographical knowledge for sure. I'm just let me think for a second. Let me let me think for a second. It's like it's like Azerbaijan, other countries. <laughs> I'm, I'm so lost. Um, I'm just gonna just let me, okay? Iran. Oh, Iran is also adjacent. What the hell's going on up here? This Iraq is like over here, right? Let me listen at this point. Yes, okay, correct. So, like, what the hell are we doing up here? It's like Bangladesh is over here. India, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Nepal. Is this just Russia? Am I, am I stupid? <laughs> it's not Russia. <laughs> is, it, um, is it Kazakhstan? That's how do you spell this? Like that? Okay, it's adjacent to the answer. Is it Uzbekistan? Is it um is it Turkmenistan from Dark Tourist? Hey, okay. We <laughs> took us enough uh enough spaces to get there. We got it. I didn't have to resort to looking up the World Almanac or anything. I mean, 11 guesses doesn't seem like that bad. But it's pretty bad when we were so close with our second one. That one hurts. I know, so like, I don't know anything about Turkmenistan. I don't know anything about Tajikistan. Um, I'll admit. I do know that isn't Turkmenistan... The one that has, like, um, it's a dictatorship. And the capital city has, like, a 16-lane golden highway that leads to the palace. Even though there's no cars on it.
That is correct. Okay, I'll take that. I've seen that episode of Dark Tourism or Dark Tourist. Okay. Movie to movie. Oh, you know what? I wanted to check out Box Office Dole. <laughs> Box Office Game. Okay, this is, this is, we played this on Friday. It's not an easy one, okay? 2005, Universal, DreamWorks, DreamWorks, Sony, Warner Brothers. October 21st, 2005, right off the bat, I'm thinking we got a, we got a shark tail in here. That's wrong. Okay, let's learn some more about them. <laughs> Let me see. We, had, we don't have huge grosses in here. Um, and this is not a... Th these are two new movies. These are not big opening weekends, but it is October. Let's get some hints, okay? Let's start with this is an opening weekend. Give me the, give me the tagline. Give me the, give me the actor. Carl Urban as the first actor in 2005... This is Doom. Okay, no one gets out alive. We got 160 points on that one. I can live with that. Now, this is another new movie. It opened up. No tagline for this one. That's a problem. Let me get... Um, this seems animated, so I'm scared. Let me, get, um, let me get the first actor. Kurt Russell. Is this shit like um, uh, Sky High? Wrong. Let me get let me get the second actor. Dakota Fanning. Oh. <laughs> let me get the third actor. Chris Christopherson. Let me get the director. John Get okay. This one you gotta reveal all hints. I, I give up on that one. Ben Crane believes that a severely injured racehorse deserves another chance. I don't remember the name of this movie. It's called Dreamer. Okay, that's tough. That's, I, there was nothing in there that could have gotten that for me. I think I know like one horse movie and it's called Seabiscuit. That was no shot. Okay, this movie is from DreamWorks. Let's, let's collapse that one. Let's reveal the tagline on this one. Something bunny is going on. <laughs> Please tell me this wasn't the Donnie Darko catch. The Donnie Darko tagline. Donnie just woke up and he can't tell, but he thinks something bunny is going on. Let me get a uh, let me get the actor, Peter Salis. <laughs> I'm fucked, dude. Let me get the second actor, Ray Fiennes. Oh, and Helena Bonham Carter. I'm so I'm, I just I nothing's coming to mind. Cheese loving eccentric Wallace and his cunning canine. Oh, as well as a grommet, the curse of the were rabbit, or something. Yeah, I guess I still could have guessed for zero, but <sighs> okay. Sony Pictures it made 20 million dollars at the box office in its second as a total as of its second week. Tagline Their past has come back to haunt them. Actor, Tom Welling. Oh, bro, I know this. Um, it's like House of Wax or something like that. No, that's Chad Michael Murray. Actor 2, Maggie Grace. <laughs> it's a horror movie. I, get, I mean, that's a gimme, right? Past has come back to haunt them. And Selma Blair. Give me the reveal all hints. I, I don't know this one either. Trapped within an eerie mist. Oh. It's the mist. Nope. The residents of Antonio Bay have become the unwitting victims of a horrifying vengeance. 100 years earlier, a ship carrying lepers was purposely lured into the rocky coastline and sank, drowning all aboard. Now they're back. Long dead mariners who've waited a century for their revenge. This one's called The Fog. Okay, thank you, chat. Not, not the mist. This one's The Fog. This was not a banner weekend at the, at the multiplex. Tagline. All she wanted to do was make a living. Instead, she made history. Can I see if this is a biopic? That's a drama starring Charlize Theron. This is monster. Wrong. Starring Charlize Theron and 
Francis McDormand. I have no idea, dude. A fictionalized account of the first major successful sexual harassment case in the United States. Is this one? There's Dogtown and there's Dogtooth. And there's Dogtown and the Z-Boys. Maybe I don't know this. I give up on this one, too. North Country. All right. I mean, this is a tough weekend, man. I'm honestly pretty happy I got, um, I got Doom just from Carl Urban in 2005. But, like, the, the rest of these were, were mighty tough. I mean, I'm okay with the 52nd percentile of, like, psychos who would play this game. I thought this was your era. My ass was, like, in... This was my senior year of high school, man. October 22nd, 2005. My ass was probably spending, like, an hour a day trying to gel up my already receding hairline. You give me some shit that came out in the summer of 05 or summer 06, we got a shot. But, like... I mean, October, apparently in 2005, this is where movies went to die, except for Wallace and Gromit. Okay, we're on chrono photo. Dude, this, the Bebe shirt is like straight out of the early 2000s. Even though this looks a little bit, this is like a disposable camera 2003. Oh! <laughs> Bebe Finn. Okay. This. We're just, I mean, it's obviously 2000s. I'm not being funny. Is this Elizabeth Warren? Is Elizabeth Warren being interviewed right now at Science World? This must be like a planetarium or something. I'm not being funny. Is this not Elizabeth Warren? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like what to glean from this. A backpack purposely built with only one strap, unless she's going two straps, and this one's just like off to the side. That might just be her shirt, the shadow of her shirt sleeve. It's hard to tell. Enormous plastic Dunkin' Donuts bag. Puts us in the 2000s. Hairstyle, kind of hard to tell. Also, you never know if you're in, like, Eastern Europe. They're still rocking, like, 70s hairstyles in contemporary photos. See horizontal striped shirts. I mean, they're, it's the camera quality and the fact that... Like, I don't know if this is just that I moved to Vancouver in 2012, but I feel like in the last, like, 10 years, people have gotten, like, a lot better dressed. Like, if you look at photos in the 90s, people were dressing with drip, but unintentionally. And now people are dressing with drip intentionally. They're wearing the same shit that they were wearing in 1991, but like on purpose. I think this is like, honestly, I think this is 07. It just, I, it gives off 07 vibes to me. It's serving 07. I'll take 05. Now this. That was pretty good. Got a gas station. We got what I would consider to be 1930s automobiles. Maybe this is in Switzerland. I'm going to say this is Switzerland 1937. I'll take that. Now, this is interesting. I'm going to say that this is like the late 50s. That's what I'm thinking for now, or early 60s. What makes me think that? We're seeing long neck bottles instead of stubby beer bottles. Everybody is smoking cigarettes, but they're probably telling like her that she shouldn't drink so much coffee. This is definitely an apres ski. For all I know, this could be in Whistler. I'm pretty sure this is Brady Kachuk. That's that's Brady Kachuk this off season. I'm gonna. This could be a, an older colorized photo, but I'm gonna say this is uh, 1958, 1952. Okay, I'm glad because I was thinking about going a little older than that. It is, dude, I'm telling you, it's Brady Kachuk. Now, this feels like a black and white photo for, that's relatively more recent. Like, not, it's not 2000, but this could be like the early 80s or something. This is back in the day when no bags had rollers. 
Like, you ever see, like, an old movie where someone goes on, like, an airplane? All the suitcases were duffel bags. With whoever invented the... <laughs> sorry, what I meant to say was... Uh, Whoever invented the rolling suitcase, I hope they're getting their dick sucked in heaven right now. Um, anyway, they might not be dead. That seems like a semi-recent invention. I'm going to go a little crazy. I'm going to say this is... I'm going to say this is 1978. 1973, okay. Oh, he didn't break 4,000, though. Oh. Is this your best score? I think on Friday we had like a 4,200. This was pretty good though. It makes up for some of the geography failures today. How about some guess the game? I don't know this immediately, but I think I'm going to get it. This is World of Warcraft. Metacritic score of 85. This shit looks like um, Bayonetta. It's a, oh, this is a Soul Calibur. How the, we've been through this. This is a PS3, Xbox 360. It's my, oh, you, it's a Soul Calibur 3, perhaps? It's a Soul Calibur 2, perhaps? It's a Soul Calibur 4, perhaps? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I knew it was, it was Soul Calibur. Like, that's not even a, a, a contest. Cine 2 Nerdle. We got a crazy streak and guess the game. We're like, we're unstoppable. Average is four out of five today. Okay, I definitely feel like we got Harry Potter in here. Like wizard. Teleport. Chamber. Wizard. Chamber. Merchants of Death. Are they, are the Merchants of Death in, uh... oh, wait, wait, wait. Are they in, are the Merchants of, I'm thinking of Death Eaters. Okay, hang on. Um, Chamber of Secrets. But first, thank you smoking and then we need something else a merchants of death is from thank you for smoking yeah 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 okay and then chamber of secrets with wizards that fly oh we should have organized these differently we got 10 swaps left diving fool's island teleport island gold Gold Island, let me... Bridget Jones's Diary, Smoking Diary, Fool's, Fool's Island, Fool's Diving, Horror Island, The Island, The Fly, Horror Experiment, Chamber. What have... I think I used too many hot swaps, brother. I think I'm in trouble. No, I think I'm total. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? I got five swaps. The fly. Fly horror experiment. It's about teleportation. And then these two swap. And then we got three swaps left to find the extra space. I don't know what Fool's Gold 2008 is. Just to be honest. Horror Island? Or what about with Chamber Teleport? You experiment. It's uh, like uh, it, it's the prestige chamber teleport. <laughs> Fools. <laughs> I think I'm cooked on this one. Wait, my ass is stupid in the prestige. Spoilers for the prestige. You should really see it if you haven't seen it. The whole point is that the chamber doesn't fucking teleport them. Is that if they make a fucking another one? Oh. <laughs> I fell for the damn. I fell for the 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 turn. Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hot swap you and admit defeat. 
what's solution? Give me the solution here. Fly, you fools, wizard. Fuck. I got prestige. Hugh Jackman, he got me. Of course it's Lord of the Rings. Of course it is. Movie to movie. All right, this shit seems hard because I have never seen War Horse. But I, actually, maybe it's not that hard. War Horse to Leon the Professional? Um, I know that this has Jean Reno. I know it has Natalie Portman. I know it has Gary Oldman. So, I mean, to find one of those actors from a movie that was directed by Steven Spielberg should be pretty easy. At least it's not um, just Rachel McAdams was in both of these movies again. Okay, let me remind myself. Gary Oldman, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Gary Oldman, the Batman movies. Can we get to the Batman movies? Can we get to, he's been in a lot of ensembles. The Batman movies also star Christian Bale. The Batman movies also star Heath Ledger. The Batman movies also star Cillian Murphy, who's got to be in a movie with this guy, but I don't know how to find it. The Batman movies also star Maggie Gyllenhaal. David Cross, dude, talk about a glow up. Eddie Marzan, he's been in everything, of course. I know this guy. This is Sir Davos. Pip Torrens. Okay. And then, so Batman movies via Gary Oldman. Natalie Portman, she's in Black Swan with Mila Kunis. She's in Star Wars with, um, well, okay, I'm sure you could go, uh, you know what? I got to protect my pride. We go Tom Hiddleston to uh, Avengers to Samuel L. Jackson to Attack of the Clones to Natalie Portman to Leon, the professional. Total distance of three. Ah, oh, she's just in Thor. <laughs> Wait, but is, is Samuel L. Jackson in Thor? Maybe he's, he's in the post credit scene where they say like, welcome to the squad, Hulk, or something like that. She's in the first Avengers? Oh, Tom Hiddleston is. You don't need Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> a good point what happened to the no marvel rule well, i stopped using uh or i i w stopped using marvel movies and then like my pads became like 11 things long and then all the 12 year olds in chat are like i just connected through infinity war so i said fuck you i'm gonna connect through infinity war too it's that simple it's like the, the mid-sell meme is like, idiot, just use Marvel, just have fun. Genius, just use Marvel, just have fun. Eighty to one hundred and twenty IQ. No, you can't use Marvel. It would it makes it too easy. Oh, you know what? I haven't done uh, Hurtle yet. Even though it turns out Hurtle is impossible for me. I don't know as much about hockey as I thought I did. Marvel is culture. Martin Scorsese apologized and said he was wrong. I was laughing. The one tweet I saw this weekend that was not either um, about legacy verifications or an April Fool's joke was like this quote tweet that was like a bunch of film students being mad that Martin Scorsese's new movie is four hours long and being like, Lord, give me the confidence of the people telling Martin Scorsese how to make movies when he's been making amazing movies for literally like 50 years and your ass hasn't done anything. No disrespect. I'm sure your GPA is high. I don't get, like, I, I don't really care how long a movie is. I am surprised that everybody wants 72 minute long episodes of television shows for every single show they watch. But then when a movie's three hours, they're like, oh, fuck off. Like you're asking watch eight episodes that are 72 minutes long for a show that's like a six out of 10. But then like one movie is three hours long and you're like, when am I gonna go to the bathroom?
Like, just relax. Make some more 20 minute TV shows, man. Yes, because pacing is a thing. I also like all of my content to start with like a five minute recap of what happened on the last episode and then end with like an unresolved uh, cliffhanger that I go, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. And then I just let it autoplay. And then there's a five minute recap of what happened on the last episode. And then they tell me um, how the cliffhanger resolved. Actually, I just phoned them and it was OK because this isn't the season finale. If this was the season finale, one of us would be dead, though, for sure. OK, let me right off the bat. I mean, every time I see a silhouette in my head, I'm like, this is Quinn Hughes, man. Start me off with a Quinn Hughes. Oh, he's, he's a West. He plays in the Pacific. He's not a defenseman, but he doesn't play for Vancouver, okay? And he's older, and he's not from the United States of America. Give me someone on... You know what? Why, why don't you give me Jared McCann? Let's get some Seattle Kraken representation. He's, uh, he is from Canada. He's not on Seattle. He plays left wing, and he's older. An older left wing that plays in the Pacific Division. Let's say that they play on... Wait, you know what? Give me a Jonathan Huberdeau. They don't play for Calgary. They are, they're older. They're, it's, they're getting quite up there in age, quite frankly, at this point. Um, they're older than 29. They play... It's a left wing in the, in the Pacific. Let me get a, an Evander Kane. They're the same age, but born in an earlier month. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, they don't play for Edmonton, Vancouver, Seattle, or Calgary. Okay, you know what I'm thinking here? You got Los Angeles, you got Anaheim, and one more team, the Vegas Golden Knights. Could it be, I can't believe, Jonathan Marcheseau, there's no way he's older than 31, right? Let's send it anyway. Is it Jonathan Marcheseau? Oh, he's 32. Okay, but he plays right wing. He does not play for the Las Vegas Golden Knights, though. Okay, so like Los Angeles, here we go. Maybe it's um, uh, Ayafolo. Could it be Alex? I have, wait, no, actually, you know what? Take me back. Let me get a Martinez. Let me get an Alec Martinez. Oh, I forgot he plays on uh, Vegas now. But he is younger than 35, and now we know. Give me an I have follow. I did not know Martinez plays defense. Okay, he does not play for Los Angeles. So that leaves Anaheim and... Uh, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He plays for Edmonton. No, sorry. He plays for Anaheim. There's an old guy that plays for Anaheim. Did they trade for a veteran recently? Is, could this be a Zach... Where did Zach Parise go to? Uh, oh, it's Andrew Agazzano! Agazzo, Agazzino? Oh, I forgot about San Jose. Not that I know. Who the hell is Andrew Agazzino? This is impossible, man. With God as my witness. I, I mean, I know this is like my th fourth hurdle and I've only gotten one. But I, I've never heard of this man before in my life. But also, you would have to pay me money to watch a San Jose versus Vancouver game. This season, at least. So, no, this you know what? I'm just... <laughs> take, take me down. Andrew Agazino. I'm just going to look up his stats, okay? How's he doing this year? No disrespect, okay? Well, at first, I... I... <sighs> Bro, this is not... He's played four NHL games this year. One goal, one assist, three points. And then he's played 57 games on their AHL affiliate, the San Jose Barracuda. How, that's a nightmare difficulty guess. How is someone supposed to get that, man? That's crazy. <laughs> they should at least... Yeah, it should be a player that's dressed for like at least 20 games or something. That's impossible, man. That's true. He did get three points in four games, and the Sharks sent him down. That's how you know they're committed to tanking. Okay. Were there any, were there any dulls that I missed from the ones that I always do? 
Hurdle, I'll probably skip. Just it, That's like a space filler with no sound. <laughs> careful, Chad, careful. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom then and we'll come back and we'll do, uh, we'll play some Dredge. 